Jasmine Gillette and I am on the exhibit and marketing team along with Head of Technology. My name is Trey Whittington. I am the team exhibit head and marketing representative. Dr. Virginia Velarde, STEM specialist, science teacher with Tumka High School. What's it like working with such a large team? Dude, it is, it's really hectic. It's pretty much like organized chaos. It gets everything done, but it's a little chaotic. And everybody has to communicate. So it's all a super big web of just craziness. It's wild, but we make it work. We've been making it work for the past 17 years and we'll continue to make it work. It's a lot of people working on different things. So there's always something different going on in like every room. It, it's challenging and it's different every year because you get a different set of students. Some years students need more prodding than others. Some are um, years they're very self-started, very self-motivated and I get to rest a little bit more. I think it's beneficial because it lets everything get done at the same time. Like again, our agile, agile form of working. So we have our engineers working on our robot, but also our marketing team working on our presentations. Each year, we deal with a problem that's pretty current. It's one that a lot of people face across the world, and we try and solve that. With our knowledge of STEM, we try building a robot to help people across the world with these real world problems. I think that's one of the best parts of BEST because it gets students thinking about things that they may have as challenges that they have to face in the future, and it shows them how to solve those problems. I think it's great for younger people because it lets them know these real world experiences before getting into the real world. Um, for me, BEST Robotics is watching the students grow from when they walk in my classroom and they don't know anything about it and their eyes get really big and to the time they walk out the door when they're seniors with their you know, pile of scholarships or they come back 10 years down the road and they say, hey, I'm an engineer and I'm working for this now or I'm a medical doctor and this is what I'm doing. And just seeing the success that the students have growing from the very beginning until their adulthood. I think I'm prepared. I think I and many of other people on this team, these wonderful people, have been prepared by BEST and by competing in this robotics team to solve real world problems.